for DIY Auto School's a place to be. Subscribe now and be a winner in life at DIY Auto School. My friend Pete's gonna show you how to do it. My friend Pete is gonna take you through step one, two, three, all the way up until the end. Do it yourself, Auto School's gonna teach you how to do it and be proud of what the hell you do. Subscribe on that little button up there in that corner and make yourself feel proud that you say, I can do it right. This is Sam Slam straight out of Miami, and I'm telling you to get her done and get her done right. I got a late model Buick here. Uh, it's a Buick LaCrosse, I believe. Very expensive car. Um, this is actually a high-end car for GM, but uh, let me go ahead and tell you the situation before we get on with the lesson, and I think you'll kind of understand why we're going to do this car this way, um, even though I don't like to do it this way. This is the way that we're going to do it, and I'm going to show you in a minute. Uh, the person that owns this car is 88 years old. He's been in several wrecks. I fixed his car just in the last year three times. His insurance company told him if he gets in another wreck, they're going to discontinue his insurance. Um, he has a $1,500 deductible, 88 years old. And if they discontinue his insurance, being 88 years old, he won't be able to get insurance anymore until he actually takes a driving test and a motor vehicle license test to reissue him the license to make sure that he is a safe driver on the road. Now, what happened to this vehicle um, is this car got hit in this area here and then it brought it over to this area here. And he was traveling on the highway and there was an 18-wheeler here, and he's over here, and wasn't paying attention. And when he swerved over to change lanes, he ran into the tire of the 18-wheeler, and then the tire drug down his car, as you can see, and basically crushed the door. This door was completely crushed in. I pulled it out the best I could. I've been pulling it out for an hour. And then this door got hit in this area here, and then over in this area and you can kind of see where the tire stopped and he went back. But this is the real situation before we start this, is that I am doing this job for a cash job that the customer can afford because he's 88 years old, he still lives on his own, he's got a wife that's the same age, and they need transportation in case emergencies arise. Um, normally, to repair this car properly, we would fix this back door here, and then this door would be replaced with a LKQ junkyard, which is like kind quality, um, which is a certified insurance uh, uh, replacement uh, panel, and we'd replace this door shell, or possibly go ahead and replace the door skin itself, which I believe that you can replace the whole door shell cheaper than you can replacing the door skin. And that's actually what a lot of people do. But we can't do that on this car. And I'm not going to tell you how much I'm doing this for, but I am doing it very cheaply to help uh, old man Ken out to keep his driver's license and keep driving down the road. Now, in a way, I'm not really doing the right thing because he might be putting a danger to him and himself and his wife. But on the other hand, I am doing him a favor by repairing his car to keep him on the road, like I said earlier, in case of an emergency, anything arises, or he has to travel somewhere, he's got transportation. So uh, we like to take care of our senior citizens and our elders. Um, make sure if you are out there and you own a small business to always think of the senior citizen and the elders in the world because uh, they don't get a lot of attention. And it seems like from my experience, the older you get, the less society really gives a shit about you. So, yeah. Welcome to DIY Automotive School, 
with my friend Pete and Minnie, the body shop girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. dent puller and it runs off a 12 volt marine battery and when you're not using it you keep it plugged in and charged but it takes this electrode rod right here and then you use the, uh, the pry bar and then you manipulate your way on getting all the dents out so I went ahead and did that because this whole door was crushed in and we went ahead and pulled it out the best possible way we can but it's not perfect now, to fix a door like this, I'm going to say it one more time, should have been replaced, but we didn't replace it. And I'm looking for a tool that I just had in my hand. Where did it go? Oh, here it is right here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to teach you how to use a product called Dynalite. It's a Bondo substance that actually is made out of uh, fiberglass resin slash... Uh, fiberglass fibers slash Bondo mixed together and what this product is used for it is a filler it's a filler uh, uh, component that you would use to fill in a big dent uh, such as this and this isn't really as bad as it seems I mean you can see the door it's not that bad but it's bad enough where we don't want to cake a gallon of Bondo on that we want to use another form of filler and what we're going to do is we're going to use the Dynaglass. So if we get a little closer over here we're going to look at this dent right here. And if I take my straight edge we're going to look down that straight edge and we're going to see that there is a gap. You can see that there's a gap and it starts about right in that area there and then it moves itself over to this area right here. And then we're going to take that straight edge and we're going to keep going down and then you can see it really gets kind of big and bulky in this area but we're going to keep going and now look at how big the gap is right there okay so we're going to go ahead and then it goes all the way down to this area here so we're looking at all the way from there and then all the way up to about I'd say right here alright so you can kind of see now how hard this thing was hit alright I'm going to go ahead and move the stick down to okay right here and then of course up to here so basically, this whole area right here was caved in, and it was caved in very, very hard. Once again, this door should be replaced. Do not attempt this if you can afford to replace the door. But if you can't, then this is an option of fixing the door and getting you back down the road. Now, one more other thing that I want to show you um, that should be replaced, and many of the Body Shop Girl is working on that is the moldings that go on the door. Let's go look at those, see what kind of shape they're in, and see what many of the body shop girls doing to actually repair them uh, for usage on a vehicle like this. Okay, so you're removing the tape, and then um, if you could turn that molding over, we can see that this thing's really, really damaged, and actually that should be replaced. You wanna go ahead and tell people how much that molding probably costs, being a Buick uh, lacrosse that it is. Lucerne, I think it's a, a Lucerne. Lucerne okay, well, the, whatever it is, it's, it's a high-end high Buick. One. I'm gonna you know. guess at least a couple hundred bucks. I'd probably say anyway, and that would be our cost, two hundred to three hundred fifty dollars to yeah. place that one piece of molding. And it's because it's got the chrome yeah. strip on it, it makes it so expensive. Mm -hmm. So, what are you gonna do to fix this good enough so we can? Well, I'm gonna scuff it down, you know, to get yeah. that ridge we'll off of there off. and smooth it, you know feather it out and then we'll tape this off and we'll paint it white and then okay, we'll, well what about this here where the molding is actually well, split off how are we going to 
do you have a, a, a fix for that so we can fix that? Yes, we're going to fix this uh, using some uh, two-part epoxy. Okay, now where was this purchased? Over at uh, your local uh, Just like big it, box hardware store? Exactly. Okay, so that's it, not it, the fancy stuff with yeah, uh, automotive it, use. It's just just regular old two-part epoxy glue. Yeah. Just any old two-part like epoxy quick glue. Quick setting, to be exact. Yeah, and just, you know, uh, so little gonna, dab, little dab, mix it up, and then I'm going to scoop some in there, and then I'm going to do like this, and it should hold it. Okay, we're going to come back and look quick at that. Quick and easy fix. We'll be back to look at that when you're all done, and hopefully... We'll save Ken the money on his moldings too. Oh, definitely. We'll get it done. So, lesson number one in this video is always help out people. Because if you don't want to help people out, then something's really actually wrong with you. Um, so, that's the first lesson in this video is to help others in life. Don't be stingy with what you got or what you know. All right, so back to what we were talking about here. I'm going to show you how to fix this dent. Uh, do it yourself DIY you can do this at home very simple and very easy once again that door was crushed in very hard I pulled it out the best I can let's get this thing straightened out so we can get this car painted and out of our shop so the first thing we want to do of course we want to get some gloves on because we don't want to get uh, the filler we'll call it all over our hands dining glass um, very important to use your safety equipment always use your safety equipment when necessary I don't care what it is, safety glasses, safety gloves, you get the picture. We got a piece of cardboard over here, maybe the body shot girl can walk over here now. And what we're going to use is a product called, now they're calling this Bondo glass, okay, but the, the correct name is Dyna glass. Now I'm going to give you a little tech tip here to save a lot of money on this, go to your local big box uh, lumber yard slash hardware store and purchase this. Don't go to the paint and body automotive store because they're going to charge you twice as much. How much did you pay for that? $14. It's $14 a quart versus the automotive store is going to be about $30, $35, 40 So we're going to take our Dyna glass or Bondo glass, whatever you want to call it. And you can see it's green in color. We're going to go ahead and dump it out. And I actually got another cord here because it's going to take a lot. Go ahead and get all this out of here first. We got our hardener. Now, one thing about this, uh, there's two hardeners out there. There's a blue hardener, and then of course you got your red hardener. Always try to use your red hardener on this due to the fact that this color is green. And if you use the blue hardener, it'll stay green and you won't be able to tell. Son of a bitch. <laughs> wow. That too. Okay. Don't squeeze it if the lid's not on it. Yeah. Um, you'll be able to tell. Uh, if you use the green hardener, you won't be able to tell uh, if it's, it's mixed, mixed properly. So always try to use the red hardener when using the Dynaglass Bondo uh, glass product. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and mix up our... Bondo glass, giant glass filler, and you got to be quick. You got to mix it up and make sure that there's no streaks in it and it's all a consistent one color job. Alright, so we got our Bondo or filler mixed up. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take it and we're literally going to put it on here, very thick and ugly. You'll see what's going on here in a minute. Another reason we're fixing this car like this is because the metal on this car is very thin. And when a car gets hit this hard or a door or whatever, uh, it's pretty much highly impossible to pull the dent out 100% due to the fact that these new cars are made out of tin can thick metal. So but what we're going to do is we're going to fill it on there and we're overfilling it. All right. Now, I have several videos on using Dynaglass, but I don't know if I have one on this specific style and usage. But you can see that I'm overfilling it, and that's what I want to do. I want to overfill it where it is thicker than the door, and I'm looking at the side view of it, and I'm going to use a lot of it on here, and I'm going to show you why. And then I'm going to show you the very quick and easy way 
of taking care of this little problem that we got here. Okay, so we got our uh, dining glass on the car, and a lot of times you really got to work quick because this stuff starts drying. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my straight edge. This is an old stick, and then I will take that, and then I'm going to drag it very lightly. I'm going to drag it across the door, just like this. And I'm going to take that excess Fondo or filler or Dynaglass, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to take it off of the car. So, like I said, we're not going to use all of it. That's just where we're starting. Okay, so now I'm going to drag a little bit harder. And then as I'm dragging it, I don't know if you can see that. I think my arm might be in the way. I can't move the camera right now. But as you can see... It's filling that in exactly what I want. And I'm going to show you because you're thinking I'm using a lot of Bondo, but I'm not. Um, I had to start out with a lot. That's one of the problems that you have with using this. A lot of the Dynaglass might go to waste as you're doing it. So now we're going to take our stick one more time. And then we're just going to rub it up just like this. And I'm pushing very medium, let, let's say, mediumly. And then now, what you just saw is I filled that in using Dynaglass. I didn't use a Bondo. This is a uh, filler that I'm using. But what I'm doing here is we have saved this door from being scrapped. We went ahead and saved the customer a lot of money. We saved him a lot of time from going to the uh, DMV and, and getting... Uh, having to try to get a new license and this is going to work for us. Let me get the camera over here. We're going to get a good angle of that because i got to let that dry for a few minutes. Actually, it's already drying. Okay, what I'm going to do now before this gets really, really hard is I'm going to take a tool and it's called a cheese grater. And what we'll do is we'll take our cheese grater and we're going to lightly cheese grate this down. And what this is going to do, it will take the glazing top off of our um, filler and it will also help flatten it out better so we're just going to do this very lightly we're not going to get all excited about it and start you know ripping it apart because once again like i said look at here okay these doors are very very paper thin um and that's, you know, the new metal that we're using these days. And we don't want to cause any more damage than that's already there. Whew. Okay. That's really starting to look nice. I like the way it feels. We went ahead and filled that big giant den in using our Dynaglass. The next thing I'll do is I will go through the procedures of uh, finishing the body workout, priming the uh, panels that I need to paint, and then we will paint the car, and when we get done, we'll come back and look at the finished product. finally got our um, car painted after doing the extensive body work that we did with our dining glass. Come on out! And we're going to see what it looks like as it dries down. I want everybody to look at the shadows of the car as it rolls out. Get down real close here. And we'll go ahead and look at the body work. And you can see by using our dining glass as an alternative to Replacing the door actually worked out really, really good. But the real key is, is knowing how to pull that dent out before you use the filler. 
Uh, we got a guest with us today. What's up, Big Rod? What's happening, man? How does the doors look to you? Does it look like it's ever been wrecked? It looks like new, man. Does it look like brand new? Yeah. Okay, yeah. now, I don't know if you saw those doors, but uh, he ran into an 18-wheeler and crushed the doors in. Didn't have the money to fix them. 88 years old. And I had to fix them. They're not flawlessly perfect in any way whatsoever. But they're passing enough to get him down the road so he can keep on driving. Maybe the body shop girl did a great job fixing our molding, but I want to show you. Um, we fixed it. And that's possibly the best that thing is going to get. It was in very bad shape. It wasn't even usable. Maybe the body shop girl made it happen. But uh, for not replacing the doors and helping the old geezer out, I think we cut him a good deal, and he should be happy, Rod. Right. So, you came over here with a pickup truck. What happened to that truck? Come on in here, oh, Rod. Yeah. It's hot outside. Tell everybody what happened to your truck. Um, now, this is after I fixed the uh, peeling paints about a week after. Yeah. But and what kind of truck do you got? got a last year edition 73. Uh, 2000. A 73. A 7.3 diesel. Okay, a big truck. Yeah, F250. All right, so we painted that truck. We had to repaint the whole truck. Why? Well, I had it painted the uh, top of it from heat damage. Looked oh. perfect. What happened? Went, went to the VA. And they put me in a hospital. VA? What do you mean VA? What's that? Veteran, veteran's Hospital. Okay, you went over there to the yeah. Veteran's Hospital. You're in yeah. their parking lot in the hospital. Yeah. Getting a heart treatment. Yep. Yeah. And yeah. what happened? While I was in there, guy stole my truck. Somebody stole your truck from the VA, Veterans Administration Hospital. Yeah. And here's a guy that served for our country in the hospital getting care taken, and a thief steals your truck. Junkie. Junkie. A junkie. Yeah. Found, now you told me that they were having sex in that truck. Oh hell yeah! They found condoms in the truck, used syringes and crap. He. Yeah, you told me to go look at it. I opened the door and almost gagged by the smell. Smell like I never smoked in the truck or anything. Right. right. It was like new inside when you walk in. It smelled like a new truck. Right. Got it. Did my friend Pete take care of you? That's the real question. Yeah. Here. Definitely. Definitely. You love your truck, you like the paint yeah. job, everything came out beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Shake yeah. a hand, make a friend. Yeah. Looks <laughs> I'm like sorry it. to cut I it short. People, I got people to look at it now and okay. they say it looks like a new truck. Yeah, I hate to cut it short, dude, oh, but look what cool. we got here. That's cool. We gotta call our buddy Ken, 88 year old Ken. Now let me tell you the situation on that. He's 88 years old. If he turns the one more insurance job into his insurance, um, they're going to cancel his insurance, then he'll have to take a driving test, and he won't be able to pass it, and he'll lose his license. Yeah. And he's got a 94-year-old wife that he has to take care of. So, you know, we got to do what we got to do in the world to help others out, Rod. Thank you. Shake a hand. Got it. Okay, let's get on your doors. Get all the nuts and bolts. Yep. Okay, let's get them over here so I can start zipping them in, bud. Thank you. Okay. So, the next time you want to save money, and you tell yourself, I can't afford to replace the door skin or door shell, always remember there's a product out there called Dynalite. I'm sorry, that's not Dynalite, that's Bondo. Dyna Glass or Bondo Glass that you can purchase over at Home Depot. And it will work wonders if you apply it the way my friend Pete showed you how to do. This is Pete, my friend Pete, your friend Pete, over here at DIY Auto School, helping people out and hopefully getting help in return. We'll see you later. Thanks for watching DIY Automotive School. Classes don't stop till you know everything.